Baptism is when we die unto ourselves and are reborn to live for Christ. It is an action that confirms our decision to die unto ourselves, a statement where we humble ourselves in submission to God to do what pleases Him. No longer do we live for ourselves, but we allow the Holy Spirit of Christ to live in and through us by learning and living in the word of truth. By being born in baptism, we are translated out of the world, our Egypt, into the kingdom of God, the church, our wilderness, in hope that we too will enter into our promised land, which is the inheritance of our salvation. By being baptized, we are adopted into the family of God, and by becoming heirs and joint heirs with Christ, we exchange our life, which is now dead, for a new life, which we live in Christ, which is our righteousness. The first step in the process is believing. Like everything else we do in Christ from beginning to end, believing falls under the description of works. Jesus said this is the work of the Father, that you believe. Nowhere in Scripture does believing fulfill our salvation, nor does repentance, or confessing Christ, or being baptized fulfill our salvation. But by these steps it is said that we are saved, which takes us out of the world, our Egypt, and puts us into the church, our wilderness, in hope that we will enter into our Canaan land, which is the hope of our inheritance of salvation. We remain acceptable to God by grace, through faith, not of works, not by going through the motions of those initial steps unto Christ, regardless of how sincere we are when we take those steps. Biblical faith, which receives grace, only exists where true love for God exists. Galatians 5 and 6. Therefore, all of our actions that are out of true love for God and man are counted as faith. And those actions that are not out of true love for God and our fellow man are not counted as faith. Jesus said that if you don't love me like you used to, I will remove your candle which means that except we repent, we shall fail of the grace of God. And John said that if we don't acknowledge or confess that Christ has come in our flesh, or that is, by the way that we live, the love of God is not in us. And those that turn their back on Christ are antichrist in the scripture. You cannot for example, believe enough to earn your way unto heaven, or repent enough to earn your way to heaven, or be righteous enough to earn your way to heaven. These are merely steps that bring you unto Christ and help you to remain in God's grace. For many Christians, faith means that they can believe strong enough to earn salvation or believing only is counted for those that God has handpicked from the beginning of time. They don't realize that believing is the first work ordained by the Father for all mankind and that God is not willing that any should perish but that all all should come to repentance. Therefore it is said of the church that the church is predestined because God knew that the church would come into the world.